Okay guys, today we're going to break down freestyle and we're going to start off with the push off the wall um, and we're going to start with one of the biggest misconceptions with the push start. Okay. As you can see, the head's too far forward, it's sticking out of the water and we are on top of the water. This time our freestyle push starts going to be under the water, the head's going to be locked between the arms and we're going to have a nice tight streamline. So this time we're going to have a push start for freestyle and we're going to have a streamline with three dolphin kicks to the surface. As you can see, the streamline's under the water, the dolphin kicks are under the water. Next, we're gonna add the split of arms when we come to the top of the water after our dolphin kicks, ready for freestyle. Next, we're going to add in the, the first three arms to freestyle. So we're going to start with the push start, the three dolphin kicks. We're going to split our arms to our shoulders and we're going to hold our breath to the third stroke. So here we're going to look at the freestyle head position. So as we're swimming freestyle we need to keep the head in a neutral position. That means looking down not looking forward and this ensures that the body stays on top of the water and that we have eliminated any form of drag. This time we're going to look at the freestyle flutter kick and a common misconception of a straight legged kick with the ankles stiff and pointed. This results in the, um, the kick sending the water up and down and not propelling the body forward through the water as we can see. This time we're looking at the freestyle flutter kick with a straight leg, nice and loose on the ankles, like we're flicking the socks off our feet, which is propelling the water behind us and sending us forward. This time we're looking at the freestyle arm entering and starting from the shoulders and not in front of the head. This ensures that the body is well balanced and that the pull is effectively sending the water behind the body. Here we're looking at the freestyle arm cycle over the water. We're keeping the hands really close to the water, the fingertips right next to the water, the hips lifting the shoulders, the shoulders lifting those elbows, and as the hand comes over the water, we are slowly rotating it. So this time we're going to look at the pulling action for freestyle. So the pulling action starts from shoulder width. Each hand goes back to the shoulder and when we're pulling, we're bending that elbow, twisting the elbow out and pulling using our hand and our forearm. And we're sending the water all the way back to our thighs. This time we're going to look at the freestyle breathing head position. So when we're breathing using freestyle, it's a real short movement. It's like you're saying no. We turn our head, keep your chin close to your shoulder and keeping the side of your goggles in the water. It's a real short movement. So here we're looking at the freestyle breathing technique. A common misconception is that the breathing arm changes. This is not the case in freestyle. The only thing that changes in freestyle is that you turn your head to your shoulders. The arm cycle stays exactly the same. So this time we're looking at the freestyle rotation. So hips, shoulders, and then arms. Hips move the shoulders, shoulders move the arms, which completes your freestyle cycle. It's quite impossible to swim freestyle without moving your hips, shoulders, and then arms. This time we're going to look at the freestyle finish. When we finish, 
we ensure that we touch the wall with one hand under the water and we do not breathe on the last arm.